Hi guys and welcome to today. I forgot what day we are now, but I'm not gonna lie. Today started really really early. We woke up at like half five to get to this island that we're currently on, which is called Les Saintes. Uh, so there's like Terre du Haut et Terre du Bas. And currently we're on Terre du Haut and like we like I think you saw on like the B-roll, we hired some bikes. Um, and we're currently like just exploring the thing. We're going to show you as well like the forge because we're going up there currently. Scene. Just looks really nice. Like my mama. Uh, yeah, it's just really, really nice. It's really cool, but it's really, really warm. I want to get really, really tan line, so I'm like saying my swimsuit top. We have a few things to do. We want to go to that fort, as I said. Then we want to go do some snorkeling. I'll try to take you as much as I can, but it's gonna might be a little bit difficult just because we're like all on bikes, and the bikes are like motorized, so it's a bit dangerous if I have my phone out and stuff like that. But we're gonna do our best. Look at how cool this island is. It's like every single place you turn is just amazing. It's just really, really, really beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. And that's good back there. There where there are all this, the um, clouds. That's where we were yesterday at the Yeah. It's really, 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 really pretty. So, yeah. These bikes, they're good. No? I mean, they help, they're helping us a lot. Like, this is like only uphill and it's quite steep. Look at the view though. Oh. <laughs> and then we have another cameraman here. <laughs> to film the food but if i'm being honest the food wasn't that good recently we've like eaten quite well like the food was always like we were never like the sea for the food but this time we definitely were like the burgers were really big everything was just a lot of sauce everywhere i just was like it lacked not a lot of flavor exactly it lacked a lot of like refined you know refined taste um but yeah whatever but yeah we forgot i forgot to film that and now we're gonna go to the beach to do some sparkling quickly and then we're gonna come back to the like city like the village center um, and maybe do a bit of shopping um, and yeah that's all I have to say right now and I'm literally like tanning as we speak I'm so sticky like there's no tomorrow yeah come on look at me Abba look at me yeah Look at the view, guys. Look at how amazing that is. We literally, my parents are saying about us, but like we literally just like we're climbing up that thing with the bicycles, and that's the view you see. That little, I think it's called Ville de Cabri or something. That's Terre du Bas still from the south. And back there behind is the Guadeloupe, Bastère, and that's where we were yesterday at the Souffrière at the top there in the clouds. It's crazy. Once, guys, I'm gonna do a debrief at the end of the day and not like the next day. Um, came back home, washed my hair. As you can see, my hair was just so disgusting and dirty. Like, I feel so good. I feel so good having like washed my hair um, and styled it and all of that. Um, and then what else did we do? Yeah, so we gave the guy bikes back. Then we like shopped a little bit around and then took the boat back. I think, I don't know if you saw it, it was so cute because like we started a day with like a rainbow and then we ended the day with another rainbow, which was really cute and wholesome. <laughs> My brother's laughing at me, but it's true, it was a really wholesome moment. And then literally took the boat back and came back here and now we're just going to chill with my grandfather and have dinner and go to bed. I think my brother's going to sleep in my bed with me tonight, just because he said that he hasn't been able to sleep well in the bed that he's been sleeping in, like since we've arrived. Mosquitoes. So it's been like 10 days that he hasn't had a proper night's sleep, so I'm like, just come in my bed and see if it's better, because I've been sleeping well, so yeah. See, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. 
And then two days later, we went on a jet ski journey, which was very, very fun. We first ended up on this little island there uh, where we were able to do quite a lot of snorkeling. So in all of these clips, you're going to just see me exploring the waters, looking at different like fish and things that you can see under the water. The first things we saw were sea urchins. Then we saw some tiny little fish that were very colorful, like this blue and yellow one. And then this yellow black with a tint of blue. And then we were back on our jet skis on our way home. And then the first thing that we saw when we got into the waters in Petit Terre was a turtle. Turtles naturally live in the Petit Terre Lagoon because that's their natural environment. And so being able to swim with them and being in an area that was conscious enough to preserve nature correctly so we could still swim with them but without causing them any harm was honestly a magical moment, definitely a core memory. And they're just such peaceful creatures, they're, they're amazing. Okay guys, we're going on a we're going back to like another area in the island to meet with like a tour guide. He's gonna explain to us like kind of the story of this island, a bit more about Guadalupe and all of the animals that live here. But I don't know if you saw this, my brother was able to like film so many different like small sharks. I think they're called lemon lemon, fit, lemon sharks. I don't know if it's the same thing in English, but in French it's like aucun citron. And they were so cute, like little baby tiny baby sharks. Just like they yeah, sharks just small. I mean, they were, they were kind of small for a shark. And it's so cool. I also just realized now that I'm probably going to have to, all the footage that I have of what loop things. I'm going to have to do this in two parts, so probably seeing this in part two. And yeah. Look at my mama. <laughs> this island is just majestic. Look at the iguanas. De, 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 de la Caraïbe les plus sèches, c'est Saint-François. Et à petite terre, sept fois moins que Saint-François. En pluviométrie sur la ville. On est vraiment dans un microclimat. Then we continued our tour and saw this little iguana in the plant. And then we saw another iguana that had two different tails. And another one, this one's a baby. It's Iguana Island, so they're everywhere. We continued our tour. We saw this place that has, at the end, you can see palm trees. That's the only man made thing of this island. And then, yeah, we just continued walking around and made our way back to the lagoon. Guys, we literally just finished the. I'm feeling a bit weird because there's people walking in behind me from the same tour, but we're gonna forget about that. We just finished the tour and it was so interesting. He talked to us about um, 
the history of Guadalupe, like where the name comes from, um, which is basically from the Santa Maria de Guadalupe, which is like the church or like the the, yeah, the church where uh, Isabel the Catholic, I think, was baptized. And since she gave money to Christopher Columbus to, oh, there's still like one, sorry, one is everywhere. Um, since she gave money to him for him to like do all of his discoveries and all of that, she was like the prettiest island that you find. Uh, please name it like Santa Maria de Guadalupe. And he found Guadalupe, and he was like, "That's the most pretty island that I found." So basically, he named it. He named it Guadalupe, and it stayed. And he explained about the first name of the island, which was Caruquera, which basically means the island with the pretty waters. Um, and that was like a group of Indians, like you know, native Indians that found this island first, and they were like, oh, this is the island with the pretty water, and in their language, Garuguera meant that, that's what it was named. He talks about all the iguanas as well, that basically are the iguanas of the French, the French in West Indies, so it's not um, and they're apparently extremely rare, it's only, uh, I think there's 50,000 left in the world, and 20 to 30,000 of them are in this like, small little island, it's crazy. And so they're trying to like, they're endangered, not because of the human or anything like that, just because there's a lot of another type of iguanas, and that iguana is bigger. So when the females want to like uh, reproduce, they always want to have the bigger ones, like go to the bigger males, and then so they always go to the common iguana and not the one from this little island, so that's why they die. And now, guys, we're going to uh, have lunch. But the, it's really, really fun. I don't know if I showed you already, but like this is Sargas. If you want to see it in close to the match, that's Sargas, all of the algae that's coming from, I don't know, I think it's coming from like West Africa or something like that. But yeah, so we're going to have lunch now and I'll talk to you guys soon. And then after lunch, we went for a swim to explore more of the lagoon. And the first thing we saw was another turtle, which was again in her natural habitat. And I think now is a good moment to talk about why you don't touch turtles. And that's because you can give them this illness called fibropapillomatosis, which is really horrible for them. It's not curable and it causes them lifelong pain. You just don't want to give that to such a nice creature. Um, and then we continued swimming around the lagoon, just exploring more of what the sea life it had to offer. So we saw first a few different fish there, then a really long one that was at least 30 centimeters long. And then this area where a lot of the fish would hide, so all different types, big, small. Um, and then we saw this kind of, all of the same types of fish swimming around from one area to the other. It was quite a cool experience. Okay guys, today is the last day in good loop for current life. so long, I'm sorry. I'm literally sweaty, it's horrible. Um, but we're currently leaving today, so I'm going to stop this and die and melt. Um, today's the last day of Guadalupe, we're currently leaving, we're going to leave now, um, in like the next 10 minutes, to the airport, back to France. So I guess this is the time where I say goodbye. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me in Guadalupe and all of our little adventures. This trip really was a really good one, I really enjoyed it. I love spending time with my family and, oh my god, sorry. And creating, all, and creating all of these new memories with them is really fun. If you did enjoy this video, please like this video, share this video with other people that benefit from it as well, and subscribe to my channel. I did it kind of in a weird way today, but you got the message. Please subscribe, please like, and share. So yeah. Bye guys. See you guys next week.